If you're a studio portrait photographer and you want to get the most out of your strobes, this video will definitely help you get to the next level. The goal for this photo shoot was to show how versatile a single strobe can be in studio. We transitioned from hard light setups to moody shots that had a ton of contrast. This shoot was done with my Canon EOS R using my EF 24-70mm lens and we also used a Flashpoint Explorer 600 for the strobe. This first look was pretty simple, we just used a large umbrella with diffusion to kind of give a larger spread of light over the subject and the background. I still wanted to create some contrast with the shot so I kind of moved the light to almost a 90 degree angle beside her. That way we had some direction to the light. Because of the outfit choice, I wanted to go with something that had a little bit more of an editorial feel. So I think this lighting did the trick. You see you hold that ponytail out just a little? Yeah, right there. Halfway through this portion of the shoot, I wanted to show how versatile you could be by adding some bounce or fill using a V-flat. I like that, yeah, hold on. And then look off. This completely transformed how those images came out. This next lighting setup was a demonstration on hard light. And hard light simply means that the light has no diffusion between it and the subject. For these shots, we had the reflector pointed directly in front of her and positioned slightly downwards. We moved her further back into the psych wall to give her some posing aids by leaning against the wall. She did some beautiful poses here and I absolutely love how these images came out. Right there. This next look directly fits the outfit, a more rugged look for a more moody shot. For this lighting setup, we had a large octobox positioned at a 45 degree angle to Donatoni. So we pulled out our posing cylinder for this look. You always wanna give some sort of posing aid to kind of assist the models in you know, positioning their body. We had our position about six feet from the background to help with that spill. It's always best to keep them as far from the background to kind of reduce that spill for these type of looks. Here's one of the shots that we took with this setup. For these last shots, we switched to a reflector with a 40 degree grid. Like any other grid, this directly reduces the spill of light. This light source created a beautiful gradient that fell to gray in the background. The only difference with these shots is I had my white balance slightly warmer than before just because I thought it complemented the look. I appreciate you guys for tapping in for another episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.